So at the beginning of today's lessons, the first thing that we'll do is resurrect our site. I want to bring back the site to work on it as it was last time, not to start over. If you have sheet number four, we did the first part together, archiving the site. We used the duplicator plugin to compress the whole site into two files, an installer.php file and a, uh, a zip file with a huge name. You do not need to do anything with those two files, as in you don't need to double-click the installer, nothing will, will happen actually, you won't know what to do with it. You don't need to unzip that zip file, you definitely don't want to do that because the installer file will need that zipped file. So you don't really do anything with those two files in a normal way. We're going to see what we do with them on part two here. So part one of this handout was to create that archive. And as I said, uh, hopefully you, you save that, your site to your flash drive and, and you have it to use today. But if you didn't, I'll show you my files. You can use my files. Part two, in general, I'll sh talk about it in general, then we'll do it, is that we, again, do need to create a database, but we will not need to reinstall WordPress. We just need that database as our storage to take the old database and put it into the new database and then we can continue on our site. So we'll create a new database again, like before, and then we're going to copy over the folder that contains the zip file and the installer file that needs to be in a folder, as we've been working with before. And when we do it, I'll remind you. Once we put that site, once we put that zip file and PHP file into a folder in our www folder for WAMP, we're going to access it. We're going to go back to localhost slash wordpress slash installer dot php. And that's going to take us through a process where we will, where it will then ask us what's the name of the database, what's the password for the database, deploy. And it'll bring back the site as a perfect copy from last time. And then we'll, we'll take it from there instead of having to start over. That's the general idea. We'll do it together right now. So to set ourselves up, First you want to go to the computer window. Let's open up computer on the desktop. And we'll go to the network folder, classroom data Z. Scroll down to my folder, campus e-commerce one. Open that folder. And what you want is a copy of this whole folder, not what's inside of it, the whole folder. You want to, for the moment, just drag it to your desktop. You want to drag that and put it onto the desktop. And then close the network folder. So copy that folder from the network folder to your desktop for the moment. This is four, right? What's that? Four. This four. is, what I'm talking about is on handout number four, yes. Okay. But it says four, I, I, um, can I see your monitor? The the only the other yeah, folder there with the last week's date. Okay, so you should have a copy of that on your desktop, and what that is is a copy of my work from last time and um, inside of it you can look inside of it but it doesn't it's not that important inside of it you've got those two files one is a zip file uh, which has a copy of everything that the site is and one is this installer file which will resurrect it for us you don't need to unzip the zip file and you don't need to double click the PHP file I'm just showing them for your information once you've got a copy of that on the desktop. Let's actually change its folder name. Change the folder name to just be WordPress. It was not necessary to do so, but uh, previously we've been working with a folder called WordPress. We'll just keep it consistent. So change the name of that folder to WordPress. And then in another computer window... Do you have to right click to do that? Yes. You're going to open the computer window and then you're going to open the local disk, drive C. And 
you're going to open the WAMP folder. And then the WW folder, open that one too. And once you see the WW folder, drag that whole WordPress folder, the whole thing, into the WW folder. So basically what we did was we copied my, a copy of my folder from the network to your own www folder in your WAMP folder and that's the, that's the copy of my work from last time. So when we launch um, WAMP, we'll then go through the process of resurrecting the site. So did everyone get that folder into your www folder? Alright, so now let's launch WAMP server. Go ahead and launch the WAMP server software from the desktop. So once that is so once that's launched, once that little green W appears, we're ready. Remember then we can click on the little W in the corner once WAMP server is launched, click on that. Click on the WW, uh, click on the WAMP server icon, and then at the top select localhost. So go ahead and launch your web browser to open up localhost. What did you just launch? Localhost. Okay. That's as far as we're at at the moment. All right, so now here that we are in uh, localhost, this just shows that our WAMP server is running. So we've seen this a few times before. This should not be new. We are then going to, uh, down on the bottom left, you're going to click on phpMyAdmin to go back to the database manager. So click on phpMyAdmin down there under Tools. And once we're in this phpMyAdmin screen at the very top, we'll create a database. This should be familiar again. We've done this before. So click Databases. And then now you're going to create a database. Under Database Name, you can call that WordPress. And remember to click, uh, click Create, because sometimes people type the name of the database here, but didn't exactly create it. You want to make sure you click Create. So 
So I'm basically doing what this what this sheet is saying. Uh, created a database, putting the folder into the WW folder. And next comes the next steps. So we will go back to the web browser and let's go to the address localhost slash WordPress slash installer.php. And that's coming right out of my handout, isn't it? So now, does everyone see this duplicator installer window? The duplicator installer window is where we are going to then recreate or resurrect our site. So uh, did everyone get this? Anyone need a little help? Thank 
All right, everyone, so at this point, the, uh, the installer file uh, loads up here. This is what I said about you don't need to do anything with the zip file yourself. You don't need to double-click that PHP file. You need to run it from that folder. So, a uh, question there, ladies? She needs to just well, if you're going to help each other a little quieter, please. I'm on the lecture now, so I'll help you in just a moment, but let me, let me move on for the moment. So when we get to this screen here, the, um, this duplicator installer file is asking you what are the details to access this database that we just created to bring our site back. So as my instructions say, remember everything that I'm doing comes from the, in from the instructions, uh, you'll be asked to fill in the server path, password login, and database name. So um, the, the host, again, is localhost. That's as it's always been. The name of a newer existing database is what? WordPress. We just created a database called WordPress. And remember, the, the username here for the database is root. And then the password is empty, is, is nothing right here. If this, to see if this worked, click Test Connection. And then I get a couple of successes here. If you didn't get a success, I'll help you in a moment, but that probably means you didn't create your database. Maybe you use the maybe you created a different name for the database. I believe capital letter W is different than lowercase w, so that might be a problem. Again, I'll help you in a moment. I've got to move on. But this is um, success at this point. At the bottom, there's a block about warnings and notices because what this is saying is you're about to recreate a site that, uh, that is going to take over a database that might exist. So if you've got a database of a site that currently exists and you're about to put in a new site into it, you might erase that old site. So it's just saying, are you sure you know what you're doing? Basically, we are. So let's click. I have read all the warnings. And click Run Deployment. It, can, it gives you one more time warning, but we know what we're doing, so we'll click OK. And so, depending on the complexity of your site, this might take a moment or it might take a while. And this usually takes longer when it's on a real server 
online, when it's on Bluehost, when it's on GoDaddy, etc., because it's, it's out on the real internet. Here it's on our computer, so it goes relatively fast. When we get to step two, notice we have step one, step two, step three. In step two, it's just saying this is the old site, this is the new site. So this, um, this whole process that we're going through is the duplicator plugin that my company uses all the time. It's really good for making a perfect copy of the site. It's also good for making a, a copy of the site in order to put into WAMP to test it and change it. And if a mistake happens, we can figure it out on, the, on WAMP. And then once that's fixed, we can then deploy that back to the real server. This is useful also when we talk about WordPress updates a bit more. This is useful to make a copy of the site, make the updates on your site, and if something breaks, we can bring the site back from the archive. We can also move a site. Let's say I had thevictorsbakery.com, and then eventually I bought victorsbakery.com. If I want to move it from one server to the other, this is another way to do that. That's why there's old settings, new settings. In short, this is, this is really, really great software because it allows you to make a perfect copy of your WordPress site and then bring it back to life whenever you need it. You don't need to change any of this at the moment. You can if you want to. It's going to be called Victor's Bakery, so you can change that if you'd like. Um, notice at this point you can also create a new admin account. We're going to use mine, uh, but you can create a new account at this point if you'd like. I'll skip it. So I didn't change anything here. Just click Run Update. Hopefully then at the top here you have errors, no errors, or warnings. Did anyone get any errors or warnings? It usually doesn't happen at this point, so that's good. If there was a warning, there would be a button to click the explanation, and hopefully that'll help you fix it. If there was an error, again, it should hopefully tell you how to fix it. But basically, this is step three. The install report says everything's fine. There's three options here. Um, we should go through them in order. Uh, so we'll do the first one, which is save permalinks. What this does is, again, if we went from thevictorsbakery.com to victorsbakery.com, some of the addresses might be wrong or different. Some of the links might still be pointing to the old site. This is what step two is telling us to do. Save those links again with the new address. So click on Save Permalinks. That'll ask you to log in. And the login is admin. And the password is password with a capital P. I can't show you here, but the password is password with a capital P. And click login. So once that logs you in, we're on this permalinks screen. All you need to do is at the bottom select Save Changes. Did you notice at the top it created another tab? I was in the duplicator tab and then it made a new one for this permalinks screen. So you want to close the permalinks tab at the top so that it takes you back to the duplicator screen. We saw step one. We just did step two. Step three would be to go from screen to screen and check every link and check every picture and so forth. And honestly, in my experience, this has usually been flawless. Um, so I'm going to sort of say, we did the testing already. And even if it didn't quite work, this is just a, a, a testing site. It's, a, it's not a real site. But ideally, you would want to go and follow each link of your site. Let's say we did. So now we, next, we've got step four, file cleanup. Go ahead and click file cleanup. It wants you to confirm, click OK. And what this tells you here is it removed this file and that file and that file. 
So what happened here is it removed the installer PHP file and the zip file and a couple of other files that were created during the, the, the resurrection of the site. And that's good because if those files were still hanging around there, you could possibly, a month from now, access those files again and then resurrect your site again, which wouldn't be good. You would lose that month of work. See what I'm saying? That right now I resurrected my site exactly as it was last week. And then a month from now, if I accidentally go back to that installer file, it would take me back to what my site was two weeks ago. Or actually, you know, six weeks ago. So this cleans out the old files so that you don't accidentally revert back to a previous version of the site. Uh, we've got the two tabs. This time now I'm going to close the WordPress duplicator tab. I'm done with duplicator. Stay in the tools here, tab, and then click on dashboard. So what we have here now is a perfect copy of the site from last week. A perfect copy of my site from last week. So if you go back to the visit site, you'll see the different uh, pages. Question there? Do you, have a, do you have a question there? Do you have a question there? Okay, before you... Before, before I... Let, let, me, inter let, let, me, in let me interrupt you. You know, don't uh, interrupt the, the lecture, please. If you have a question, you can raise your hand. I'll come and help you out and so forth. I'll be able to catch you up, but don't interrupt the lecture, please. So, right now we have a perfect copy of the site. Again, it's my site. But that's going to save us the work of starting all over, isn't it? Yes, it was a few steps. It was a brand new procedure but I have the handouts here um, and this will save us from having to start all over so um, the site at this point we will be able to continue all the work that we've done uh, and like I said I know it's a new process and such so let's take a, 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 a short break our first break a little early we'll take a short break just to make sure we've all got the site together here when we go on, we will continue with adding the content of the site. So raise your hand if you need any help.